Well, here we are. Your new home for the next few months. Thank you, David. This parking lot is exactly what I was looking for. I don't appreciate your sarcasm. Your mother loves you dearly and wishes she didn't have to send you here. Your sister and I think this will be a great opportunity for you to change your habits. Stepsister, and it's not like I had a choice. Please, Carhenia, I really want our relationship to improve this year. I want to help you through school. Let me drop you off at your dorms. I have to get back to the office. I'm sure I can find the way by myself. I insist. I'll meet up with you later at the canteen car. I'm going to work for Kara. I miss her so much. We'll see. Well, here's your dorm. I made sure that you were put with one of our finest students in the school. She's a junior. But her roommate left last year due to... Uh, medical reasons. Lucky her. Hi, I'm Darla. I'm so excited to be your roommate. We're going to be BFFs. Darla is one of our top students. Very mature and polite. She should be a great role model for you. Okay, can you please leave now? Oh my, yes. Uh, I must leave. I have an engagement at my office I must attend to. If you need me, you can find me there. Also, don't forget to attend the orientation. Your sister will be waiting for you. So, I heard a lot about you. Uh, is that good or bad? Good, we're more alike than you think. Is that so? I'm not the person your daddy thinks I am, but your stepsister sure does. I'm glad. I didn't want to be stuck with a weirdo for two years like my stepsister. Don't you worry, darling. I'm the complete opposite. So, how are you liking school so far? Uh, I literally just got here. Ooh, I like your tone. I think we're gonna learn a lot from each other. Anyway, want help decorating your half of the room? Sure, whatever. Well, it's not pink, but I like it. It's almost time for orientation. Do you want me to show you the way to the cafeteria? I can show you a few secret spots along the way. Sure. A lot of freshmen this year. Cute, too. Yuck. Even if I was one of them, I wouldn't think that. Huh? I thought you were. No. I got held back a year for missing school. Also didn't help that I snuck out of the house every night. Dave recommended to my mother that I should come here. Okay, I gotta go, girly. But I'll talk to you later. Bye! Would you like me to carry your things to your room for you, sir? Thank you, James. I, I can do it myself. Mr. Love, uh, on behalf of Nebula High Student Council, I would like to formally welcome you. Thanks. Would you like me to show you around the campus? Would it be alright if I went there myself? Oh, sure. Not a problem. Right. Is there anything else I can do for you, sir? No. I think I can manage it from here. Hey! You're need my love, right? Yeah... and you are? Uh, I'm your roommate. 
Artie Schlorfernipple. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. So I understand that you like playing countermatch, going to the beach, and you love riding horses. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Also, you enjoy exotic foods, watching movies, and sometimes play soccer. I gotta say, Artie, you're creeping me out a little bit. So, are you going to the orientation? Did you Google that too, Artie? You're making fun of me, aren't you? Oh my, who's that? I got no idea. Is she even here? Maybe I should just go to the library and meet her later? Can I help you? Are you... Caramel? No, I'm Carousel. Ah, okay. Kerosene it is. I'm Aki. We're roommates. Well, okay, hockey. Nice to meet you, Shorty. It's always nice to know that I live with the cover model herself of the Green Giant Vegetables. This seems like it'll be an interesting year. I think so too. What are you reading? The summer reading book assigned last April? I had better things to do than read about some tragic random and their troubles, and these better things were my own tragic troubles. Charming. I'm in the higher classes, so I had to read two books instead. Seems like we have a show off here. I'm just saying that I managed to actually finish my books and outline them with extra time to do other things. Well, some people actually have lives. Now, let me formally introduce myself. Oh boy. My name is Carousel, not kerosene or caramel or whatever the hell you said. And I like long walks on the beach. Welcome, students. Please make your way to the soccer field to begin the orientation ceremony. Now that concludes everything you need to know. And as your school year progresses, you will learn more and more about us. Now for the orientation tour, we'll be reading out your names and putting you in groups of three. Each group will be assigned to a peer leader who will guide you. So, Carousel Maybeck, Linny Snow, Elise Wurtzer, you will be in a group with Lewis. He's cute. Uh... Next group, Kahinia Pierce, Nimoy Love and Aki Etrin. You're in a group together and your peer leader is Kennedy. Alright freshmen, my name is Kennedy and I'll be your peer leader for the next year. If you need any help or if you get lost, you'll know who to ask. Now, let's begin with our tour at the main hall. Follow me please. Here's where you'll spend most of your time during the day. Most classes are taught here and the top floor is the teacher's offices and staff room. Normally, you're not allowed to go up there, but for the purpose of this tour, we'll show you. This is where you'll come if you need to speak with your teachers. Please don't. Hello, students. I see that you're fitting in, Carhenia. I'm not sure I would call it that, Dave. Oh, you're the famous daughter. Headmaster David has spoken a lot about you. It's such an honor to have you in my group! Wait, you're the headmaster's daughter? Can we please continue with the orientation so we can drop this subject? Ooh, I wonder how it must feel to be the headmaster's daughter. Getting any special treatment? Says you, you're Nimoy Love. Isn't your family extremely rich and always getting into trouble? At least I'm willing to go to school. Unlike some people. At least I managed to get here without being held back a decade. You're both pathetic. 
At least I'm not the headmaster's little puff princess. I'm not sure I'd call her that, Mr. Love. At least I don't say at least in every sentence. Carhenia, please. Have you guys even taken an English course above the fourth grade? Don't you know any other transitions? Stop! You shouldn't be speaking that way in front of the headmaster. You're acting like children. Excuse me. You can't call me a child when you look like one more than I do. <laughs> Says a person who's the same height as a second grader. I'm out. Bye.